Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we're taking a look at another Psyker build. So uh, someone commented before about a different Void Strike build and I thought, eh, I'll give it a go. And uh, this is what we're going with. It is the Void Strike Surge build. So you get two shots on a critical hit. I have tried this before and I found it a bit weird to use, but it is very, very effective. It's just not my kind of play style, but just because I personally don't really like playing with it doesn't mean it's not really, really good. So this is kind of how you set it up. Uh, obviously, with the blessings, you would want the tier four warp nexus. I currently don't have that blessing, so I'm just sitting on the tier three until I do. Uh, surge, you want the tier four for the two shots and critical hit. And for the perks, preferably you would want 25% uh, damage to unyielding and 5% uh, crit chance. As you can see, this is not a perfectly rolled staff. This is just what I had lying around to test and show. And just so everyone knows what I'm using as well, it's the same Demios Mark IV Blaze Force Sword with black unarmored slaughter and uncanny strikes. And as for the curios, we're still just using what I have available, which is health and a wound. All of toughness, combat ability, regeneration, sniper resistance, gunner resistance, and gun resistance and all of them with combat ability regeneration which i think is the most important part of them i went for gunner and sniper resistance because that just tends to be what ends up getting me these aren't in any way uh, optimized this is just my preferred method of using them you could probably swap these out for all toughness if you wanted to and you go for the toughness builds in the trees but that's up to you I'm just showing them off because i always forget to and thank you very much for, to the community to keep reminding me to do it, because I do keep getting the curios. Right, let's move on to the talents. We are grabbing Perilous Combustion, Soul Stealer, Metal, Perfect Timing, Toughness Boost, of course we're going for a sale. Again, I'm not putting the point in Quick Shards, because I think it's pointless. You can if you want to. Go down here, Growing Mind in Motion. And you may be wondering why we're not picking up Prescience for the 4% crit chance, which would make the build even better. But it does make it far, far, far more dangerous because in this build, we don't have many ways of reducing perils. Which is why we've gone down into Venting Shriek. So we have that auto vent. If you wanted to go the true glass cannon build, you could go through Mind in Motion, into Prescience, into Scryer's Gaze, and then down. But you will be a glass cannon with very little opportunity to vent any of your perils. But that is just another way you can do it. So we're going down here. Warp Rider. We're taking Empowered Psionics. Psychic Leeching. Overpowering Souls and charged up and then we're going to come over here grab kinetic deflection and true aim landing five weak spot hits grants your next range attack a guaranteed critical so this is also going to be quite important for the build because it's a guaranteed crit and that's what we want so as with the void strike builds before we're aiming for the face uh, you will be able to see if this it does not charge as quickly as the other one but it does do horrendous amounts of damage. I find the best thing to do is get up around 90, see if you can push it to 99, and then vent down to just about 60. That way you're still getting the crit buff. And this is on damnation, so all the damage that's being done is damnation level sort of toughness and health. And the venting shriek there, which saves you if you overshoot yourself. 
But yeah, that's the uh, the double shot voice strike staff. Very, very amusing. I find it a little unreliable. But it's it's a legitimate build. And if you prefer this sort of heavy glass can playstyle, then by all means, go for it. There are some really fun things you can do with it. So I hope you enjoy it, guys. And if you do, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, if you so fancy it, go check out the members area. Where 99 of your pennies can keep the lights running in this channel for a month. But until next time, take it easy and I'll see you later.